It'll be one month before the teenager charged in a texting and driving fatal crash appears in court. Well, it's believed to be the first case of its kind in the Kansas City area. Rachel Gannon is charged with second-degree manslaughter, misdemeanor assault, and texting while driving. If convicted, she could be sentenced to five years in prison and a $200 fine. The crash killed 72-year-old Loretta Larimer. Her family doesn't want to see Gannon's life ruined, but they do want others to learn from her mistake. And that's what the community of Platte City wants as well. But Lindsay Shively is there to show us how they've rallied to turn a tragedy into a teachable moment. That's right, Mark. I've been talking to school officials here today who admit when they're teaching these life lessons to teens, it's really hard to make those consequences of these decisions relevant to the teen's immediate life. But since that crash last fall, the dangers of texting while driving have become all too real. And in the months since, almost every high school student here and staff members for that matter too have had a reminder of just how real right at hand. Junior Ashley Ryan has seen a difference in how Platte County High School students drive. They're trying to learn from other people's mistakes. She won't text and drive, and neither will this senior. Taking somebody else's life just for uh, a text message, I don't think it's worth it. After the crash last fall, the school got a grant to bring in a national speaker, and for months, students have been wearing these thumb rings. Text-free driver is what they say. Assistant Principal Sherry Waters was thrilled when students came to her after the crash and asked to start a chapter of SAD, Students Against Destructive Decisions. We have taken a tragedy and spun it out into something that has become a productive organization. Still, some worry the message still isn't sticking. But I still see a lot of people texting and driving. And they worry for Rachel Gannon, their classmate who could go to jail, whose life is forever changed by texting and driving. They want the best for her and they want the best for everybody else. Of course, they chose a thumb ring because every time students get out their phone to text, they're going to see that thumb ring right there reminding them about what happened. And this has turned in really a campaign in Platte City. They have had community agencies, county agencies get involved with this. There's an organization for parents about how to talk to their kids about this. The Missouri Highway Patrol says just in the last year, more than 1,800 crashes can be blamed on distracted driving because of use of a cell phone. Twelve people died, including Loretta Larimer. We're live in Platte City, Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.